You're listening to Long Distance. I'm Paula Mardo. In this bonus episode, I have an update to share with you about the show and myself. But first, I want to say that we here at Long Distance believe that Black lives matter. This is the part where I was going to share some tidbits of shared history between Filipinos and Black Americans, but I don't think we need examples to show why we have to be supporting this movement for Black lives. That stuff takes away from the bigger picture. So I just want to say, take this moment to really think about what's going on right now, to understand what people are fighting for and why. There's a reason people are crying out, no justice, no peace. We should know this. Filipinos have always fought for equality and basic human rights in the Philippines. In fact, Filipinos at home are right now fighting against an unjust anti-terrorism bill that will allow the detention of a suspected terrorist, using a very broad definition of that term, for almost three weeks without a warrant, among other potential human rights abuses. So with all that's happening, we're trying to do what we can here at Long Distance while the show is on a break. On our social media accounts, I'm sharing podcasts you can listen to about what's going on. And on the show page for this episode, on our website, longdistanceradio.com, I'm putting together a list of resources, like articles, books, movies, and online classes, plus a list of ways to help the Black community and learn more about issues in the Philippines. I hope you take the time to read, watch, or listen to these materials. And then go do something, whatever you can even if it means sharing a link with a friend or having that hard conversation about anti-blackness and what anti-racism is with a loved one. If you have resources you'd like to share, email them to me at hello at longdistanceradio.com and I'll try to include them. Thanks. A lot has happened since we wrapped up our second season. And amid this new pandemic world and all the things that are happening in it, I've had to seriously think about the future of long distance and of my own life. After a lot of thinking and planning and doing, I have some news to share with you. As you may know, long distance is not my full-time job, but I put in full-time hours, that's for sure. I've been a freelance radio and podcast producer for a few years now, and while I've enjoyed working for myself, it's a constant hustle, and I've always been open to new opportunities, but nothing ever fit. Until now. I just started a new job as a producer at Pushkin Industries, a podcast company founded by Malcolm Gladwell, the journalist and author of books like The Tipping Point and Blink, and Jacob Weisberg former CEO of the Slate Group, co-founder of Panoply, and editor-in-chief of Slate Magazine. Pushkin produces podcasts like Revisionist History, Broken Record, Against the Rules, The Last Archive, and The Happiness Lab. I'm excited about working with the Pushkin team, and I think their ethos fits pretty well with mine here at Long Distance. They put artists and creators first, they produce work they care about and believe in, and they have fun. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this next chapter of my podcast journey. I know what you might be thinking. What happens to long distance now? Well, the show will stay the same. We're just going to take a longer break than we had planned. Because while I'll be adapting to my new job, Patrick has some other things to work on too. And I'll let him speak on that. Hey, Patrick. Sup? So, what are things you've been working on these days? Well, I'm taking care of my pops because he's staying with us because of COVID-19 and the whole pandemic. Uh, But now that season two of Long Distance is over, I'm getting back into some film and video ideas that I've been meaning to work on. I realize how much I miss making videos for the NFS YouTube channel, so I'm going to pick up more on that. 
and I'm digging into some script ideas I was working on a while ago. So I'll be writing a lot. I'll be busy. Awesome and super exciting. Where can people follow your journey and see your work? Well, you can see some of my work at youtube.com slash National Film Society, which is my YouTube channel. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Patrick Epino. We also have some cool long distance surprises coming your way. Uh, maybe a cool video documentary. Stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, again, hella busy. Cool. So lots happening. But when we're ready and settled, Patrick and I will get back to it and start producing stories and episodes on long distance again. So this isn't goodbye. This is see you later. Later. Exactly. Thanks, Patrick. No problem. Okay, so like Patrick said, we're taking a longer break, and this is a really good thing. It'll give us time to get the creative juices flowing again. I mean, we never really had a break between season one and two, because we were working the whole time as part of the Google Podcast Creator Program. Look, long distance has been the biggest project of my life, but it's also been the hardest. Well, we had a pretty great season two, and we got to work in some phenomenal stories, Patrick and I learned that the way the show is working right now isn't exactly sustainable financially or even production-wise. It's a lot of work for two people on a limited budget. At the same time, this year has been really tough. We've had some personal issues to deal with, some I've shared on social media, including the passing of my grandfather, Rafael Bernardo Pangilinan. He was 100 years old, and he passed away peacefully at home in the Philippines. He didn't die of COVID-19, but he was unable to safely receive hospital care because of it. And because of COVID, our family had to grieve virtually. It was tough. You might remember my grandfather from the second episode of this podcast, Little Manila, Part 2, where he talked about how his uncles came to America in the 1910s and how he even found one of them in Stockton, California. <laughs> When I called him, I, I told him I'm the son of Florencia. He was very, very excited. And then I told him, I'm leaving for the Philippines tomorrow when you come here. I cannot make it. He was in Stockton. Where are you in Stockton? I'll try to, to, to go there. He told me the place, an eating place. So I told Ningning, Ning, Pasita, and Mommy, sisters, I would like to go to Stockton. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Good. I really love that conversation with my grandfather. I'm so glad it's recorded permanently on this podcast. And I hope you can listen to it if you haven't already. It's the kind of stuff I love making for you guys on this show. And that's why I want to take this time to step back and figure out new ways to make long distance work even better than before. So for now, I paused the Patreon and won't be charging our Patreon community until further notice. It just doesn't make sense to be doing that while we're on a break anyway. Patreon community, I wrote a post about this big change recently, so check your messages. And big thanks to all of our Patreon members, supporters, and ambassadors, and our PayPal donors. The funding we received from you all has helped cover production costs and website and podcast fees, music licensing, equipment, and editing software. The remaining funds will help cover many of these recurring costs as well as production costs for future episodes. Like this one story we have in the works about the supposed first Filipino settlement in the United States, located in St. Malo, Louisiana. I'm really excited to share that story with you. We actually had to set it aside because of the pandemic, but we hope to get back to it and to share it with you as soon as we can. By the way, if you still feel like you want to contribute to future stories we're producing, our PayPal will remain open on the website at longdistanceradio.com slash support. So that's the update. What now? I'll be sharing news about our progress on social media. You might even get a surprise bonus episode or two when we're ready. So stay subscribed to this podcast feed, follow Long Distance on all the socials, and if you want to get really updated, subscribe to our brand new newsletter. It's called Long Distance obviously, and you can sign up on the website longdistanceradio.com. 
I'll be writing about the creative process of making podcasts, plus some updates about long distance and other projects along the way. Whether or not you make podcasts, I think you might dig it. So, subscribe. Don't worry, I will be back here in this podcast feed before you know it. So hang tight. Thank you so much for listening and for supporting the show. Long Distance is an independent podcast produced by Patrick Capino and myself. And we could not have gone this far without you. So we'll see you soon, okay? Stay tuned and stay safe. Thank you.